Uh, yeah, yes. we'll view the intro though real quick so not everybody's confused. The rocky coast of Maine about toward the island of Matinicus alone. My Egyptology professor, Dr. Hargrove, was always recounting his trips to northern Africa in the 1930s and his search for a mystical water clock from the dynasty of the Pharaoh Ramses. Uh, yeah, enjoy any the of the games we put on screen, though. Um, reach life. out in the Discord. Claimed he found it once. I'll be happy to fill you in or even give you a cool YouTube uh, recommendation song. The expedition's patron, Tess Conway. I've picked up the trail Wait. where Hargrove left off. It has led me to Aris Tess Conway's island estate. Oh, the Tess was the obsessed with the occult. Her greed drew her what, to a dump or something? Breeze, Some weird stuff played out. Smuggler. In its heyday, the Conway estate hosted wild, extravagant parties. It has been deserted for decades. Tess and her society friends disappeared oh, in, in a weird little cult society. on the night of the we summer checking solstice. Out. I'm just getting my first glimpse of the house. The weather's getting worse, but I'm almost ashore. I fear my life may be in danger, but I have come prepared. But hmm. <laughs> I have come strange. prepared. My watch has stopped. <laughs> so that's the intro to Killing Time. Uh, obviously, puzzles and survival. A unique one. Uh, I'm going to do one other rally here. Uh, set up. Troops you can join from the uh, alliance, things like that. Um, it makes for a pretty busy time. Once you level up a bunch of stuff in the game, it feels like there's always something to do, which I think is a good proponent to like a mobile game. Um, if you log in and you feel like you have something to do. I get a lot of people that give me feedback though, like folks that join and they enjoy uh, being here. I'm glad that it it really does grow at a at a pretty quick rate. Um, like I I kicked off making an alliance in that one little mobile game here, Puzzles and Survival, and uh, I think within 24 hours we had filled we filled 50 spots in there. So that's it shows you how many players are active in the game like this. Um, 50 people joined up, and we had to make another five spots to level up the alliance so we could have more room for it, but yeah. beast. I feel like the handgun does not do much to them at all. No, they saw me coming out here. Well. against the slug beast. Uh, ah! That's the sound they make when they die, so I need the profiles of that. Then the first time we played this, I noticed that was the tricky thing about it. They, they, they take so many shots. Yeah. 
It's like a shotgun seems like it has a really wide spread. It's slowly just shooting at them in the room. Not just like accidentally in a wall. Alright. Holy crap. So dead. Some health out of this place. Twenty six percent health. How is anyone supposed to live? boost. And this might be as good as we're gonna get uh, going forward in this little area. Basically you gotta wait until they pop back out and then Shoot him. Well, he should be down there. I didn't see him until it's too late. Can't shoot those. This looks fighting. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're heading back in away from the slug monsters. Be so nice. disturb them, they don't necropolis. I don't know how to how to approach this game. I'm just gonna save it as much as we get above 50% health. Try not to disturb all the roly polies.
Yeah, if I if I had known that was the key the whole time, don't actually disturb all those little rolly things. Happy camper. Dank Mosphere. Dank Mosphere. Hmm. Well, that's something. Boost, noise. So I just found oh another secret at the dead. Okay. This is just in place. It's just guarding it. I just was thinking about saving it, and now I took a ton of, ton of health out. I... Can't lose health. Gotta keep health. Um, yeah, guys, we've been live over an hour. I'm gonna check on one thing real quick. Um, seems like a pretty dope spot to save it. They don't care one bit if... Save it. Do -do 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 uh, yeah. Oh, did we get nice? We succeeded on our rally. I'm gonna level up characters. Can't evolve too many yet, but. Anti serum. So you level up your characters by the things you get from uh, the campaign, the uh, rallies, things like that. Zombie lair, you know, defeats. I have a few level 60 characters now, I was pretty proud of. And level 69, the highest one I've got. Um, anyways, my commander upgrade is now at level 14. So here's that cool looking commander. Um, you can customize quite a bit of it. Give them different war set equipment. Things like that. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm just checking something. It's easy to get lost in, in that game, and it really is a fun one, though. So, uh, yeah, I hope if anybody's interested, join me in that. Um, it means a ton. I, I can tell a lot of the folks that have registered in there, um, it hasn't caught up with them in the Stream Elements side. But since it is getting pretty late, um, I'm going to save it probably right after this point. Oh, got to wait for those. Well, what did I find now? Ooh, some kind of like fire launcher thing. I saved it at a good time and then uh, I botched it. So let me load that back where we were at 100% health. Just despawned. Wow, just despawned everybody too.
heavy with that load. Dankmosphere at 64%. I mean, I guess we killed some enemies. Let's see what this weapon does here in a second. Wow, that music shifted on me. This feels like a boss. Elevator shoes. Dude, this is a beat. I like this. I was like, I think, I think this is a big boss room. Whoa. What am I fighting here? Are they throwing? Are they throwing bottles at me? Are they bees? Oh no, the bees! I'm oh, confused. Oh, what? So wild. This feels like uh, it's shifted to like Gex music. Let's save it here. I mean, like, this is a really cool looking level. I have a lot more health pickups here than they did the last place. Big confusing map. Oh. Hey, bees that don't actually attack that fast are something.
fuck is the secret? What am I supposed to open this back up? I need to know. Maybe a lever or something. Remember they made like anime things? This is great. Like, who, who, who's gonna go into a studio and be like, yeah, I'll be the model for this? Why is this bee so hard to hit? How's a bee work? It's like, we took care of everything? The music shifted again. Yeah, I just get spot to uh, stop it here. We just completed the last chapter 100%. Now we're, uh, we're facing off against something else. More evil, killing time here. As we explore further into this mansion, um, at least for everybody that put points towards this, you know, the redeems. Um, like I said, I do have more 3DO games on the agenda, and maybe more N64 games now that we've got a break away from the other norm. We had uh, a heavy, uh, heavy PlayStation. PlayStation 1 game redemption era. Uh, this is the Horde. Um, I've also played the PlayStation 1 version, but I've got Gex for 3DO as well. It's Flying Nightmares, apparently. The Gex that I have two of. Uh, I have one that's in a big long box case, so. We'll be playing more. Uh, we got the first Alone in the Dark. The second one's very confusing. wrap it up with one that plays just as clunky as this on 3DO guys. Uh, I'm not going to leave you hanging too bad. We were playing some DOS uh, which was the nature of things uh, in dos But I've got Doom for the 3DO. Who doesn't love a good throwback, right? Anyway, we satisfied the um Uh, the requirements for it. Doom 64 has 20.5 thousand people following, huh? Doom 2D has a lot of followers. Doomed. Doom Eternal. Doom and Destiny. So many different Doom games. That's so wild. Um, yeah, we go original Doom. See what pops up. <laughs> I guess that's just what it would be called, too. Uh, but yeah, our 3DO. Put it to good use. Thanks for those that have popped in. Um, I'm going to get rid of the little one promo. Just keep it. Just for a moment.
so you guys can still see. Uh, this one is pretty unique. I think I like the soundtrack from this version the best, but the gameplay is the worst of uh, PC-related SNES, those uh, style games. Anyway, for a Simber, I almost forgot that I have this ported to the 3DO. Hope you all enjoy it. Um, welcome back if you're in an ad. We were playing Killing Time. Uh, I'm going to move over to the 3DO version of Doom from ID Software. Data. Group. And Logicware. Logicware when ported to the 3DO. 3DO! Uh, but I appreciate you guys and anybody that is in uh, with new follows recently. I think I had a vibrant sponsor in my spot before, so I'm going to put that back up here. It just works better. Nice, opening it up with the credits. Level 1. Hurt me plenty. I'm a wimp. Let's do uh yeah, hurt me plenty. Let's try it. Loading. How about this? They ported it, and you have to look at it in the smaller screen frame the whole time. Still one of the best soundtracks that ever got ported into any other. Gameplay is just like killing time. It's, it's about as blocky as killing time. Though. What do you guys think? Do you like, do you like these tunes the way they are in this port? Almost never sounded better, right? Gameplay though? You can tell. It's a little rough. Oh, 
way to punch him out. forever, but I guess we come. Somewhere. Anyway, that was Doom 1, first level hanger. Entering a nuclear plant next. And I'll probably call it a night, guys. Bye.